my name is Chachu Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an outro for your YouTube channel. And uh, we're using Pixlr because uh, some people cannot afford uh, Photoshop or anything, but I might do Photoshop here soon. But it's sort of the same, so let's get into this. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to pixlr.com, uh, and um, whenever you get to this page, you want to click on Create New Image. And this next part, it all depends, um, like, how you record, either 720p or 1080. Um, it doesn't really matter, but um, in 720p, uh, it would be 1280 by 720 down here, which is like a normal thumbnail size. And if you record in 1080p, it would be 1920 by 1080p, or not 1080 on, uh, and then click transparent and OK. So the next thing you want to do is uh, put a background onto this nice, beautiful, transparent um, thing here, whatever it is. And um, there's examples up here like radiant backgrounds or sunburst backgrounds and even grunge backgrounds. Um, so I'm going to choose the gradient for today and I already have one chosen. So I'm just going to open the image now. And whenever you have an image and you save it, you want to go to the file, open image, where I just went. And you want to take this here, you want to click on it and click on the picture. And you want to hit control A and control C. And then on here you want to hit control V. And then it'll come on here. So the next thing you want to do is resize it because there is this big blank spot around it. And you want to go to edit, retransform, and if you don't want to lose its form, you want to hit shift and drag it. So it makes it easier. Otherwise, it will go out of shape. And that's why you hit shift if you want to be careful. And you want to apply the changes, so now it's like this. Next thing you want to do is you want to uh, you want to add well I already did that uh, add a video box so like if you have a previous video this is why we have outro this is why we're doing this right now it's basically where you want to do your like you put your last video so people are like oh I want to watch that and they will go and click on the annotation that you put over that and there will be a tutorial on that pretty soon. So you want to, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the Marquee tool. You want to click on it and make a box. All depends whether like you, uh, how you like it. So I like it just like this. And there's nothing filled in just yet, but you are not able to move around. I do not know that. But um, so you want to like keep it where you put it, I guess. Uh, you want to like take the paint bucket, make sure it's in black, and then you're able to fill in, well that's pretty bad, it should have filled in the whole thing, but it didn't do that in this case, so if you get into like a situation like that, you just want to take the paintbrush and color around it. Okay, so after that mishap, uh, now we're um, able to get back right to it, and uh, you want to just fill that in. If it, like, messes up, you just want to fill it in until it's completely black, and that's where you're, like, going to put your video in. Uh, sometimes I go outside the lines to make sure that the black part does not show, and just so the video is just a little bit bigger, and that people can, like, see it a lot easier. And, um, next thing you want to do is you want to go down here to the type tool, and, you know, you can do something like start up here, and you want to choose a font, and I'm going to choose Action Comics Black. Um, for this reason, uh, I'm going to have to put in Caps Lock, or it won't work. And you can put something like, thanks, or watching 
and make it so that people can actually see it. And you want to like resize it. But don't make it too big. And don't make it overlap the box. Or that will turn out to be bad. So you want to put it like that. And to make it look a bit more fancy, you want to go down here uh, to the layer styles. If you want to like, if you want it to be more shiny, you can add a bevel. If you want to drop shadow, you can add that. If you want an outer glow, I suggest that you put the hardness up to 10 and the size to 10. It really makes a glow and it looks pretty good most of the time. But in this situation, you want it to be like down to like a six, and it looks very good like that. Um, and like, you could put something down here the same way, um, something like subscribe, or even your channel name. So, I'm, I'm pretty bad at typing, I know. So do the same thing, and you might want to make this like the biggest thing on screen, or something. Um, and to like make it pop out a lot more, you might want to like add the drop shadow to this one. Because it's more important than the thanks for watching. But you can do whatever you want, this is your outro. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to do any of that. Just make your own... Just make your own, um... Outro. Make it as nice as you can. And people will, like... It, the outro isn't the best thing that you can, like, use. It's very nice to have. Because people can see the previous video that you made. But it doesn't really matter. Because... Most people don't even get to the end of your video, um, because either, because, like, people on YouTube have short attention spans, and, like, they would click on any video, so they could, like, watch yours for, like, 30 seconds, and then go into another video for 30 seconds. I'm not saying that you're bad, um, because, like, people do the same thing. If you want to, like, learn more about this, um... I will be making a video soon, it's uh, about Google Analytics, if you know what that is. It's the, um, it's the thing where, like, you see who all watches your videos and everything. So basically, you can, like, find out, oh yeah, this is what I should improve on. That, that's, like, your learning tool right there, is Google Analytics. like. What do people want to watch? What do people uh, hate watching? Should I do this? Should I do that? You know, that sort of thing. And another thing, like, um... Google Analytics shows you, well, sort of just said, like, whatever it shows you. But, uh, what you want to do on here is that you want to, like, fill it up. You don't want to leave too much of a blank space. And don't have subscribe twice on here. Um, if you want to, like, watch how to do annotations, it'll be up soon. It'll be one of the next videos that I do, but like, what you want to do is like, you want to take an annotation, if you know how to use them, put one over the video, and put one over the subscribe. So like, that that's how you do it. <laughs> and um, if people are on PC, they'll click on it, they'll go to that video automatically. They go to that like, video automatically, they watch it, if they're, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but, um, so let me finish up here, and then we will end the video, and, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, remember to like and subscribe for more videos, 
Ha <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you all in the next one. See you guys.